Hi everybody, this is Shane Armin Rowe, and I would like to show you the latest feature on Google Maps, the split screen street view. This was just added on Android for a change. The Android version of a Google app actually got something before the Apple version did, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to show this off. I'm a big street fan view. So as you can see here, uh, this is actually uh, downtown Las Vegas, the Plaza Hotel and Casino. Uh, one of my favorite places to visit. Uh, I love uh, going down to Vegas, uh, at least before uh, COVID hit. So we're going to go ahead and turn on Street View. And as you can see, all of the available Street Views in the vicinity have showed up. So we can kind of zoom this in or out. We're going to kind of get it a little tighter. Because there's a, there's a strip here called um, uh, Fremont Street, the Fremont Experience. And it looks a little bit different in Street View than regular Street View does. So I wanted to kind of show you this, this whole thing. So normally after you turn on street view, you'd click on the street and you would get this view, which would allow you to, there's the Plaza Hotel. I don't know why that's grayed out. There's the entrance over to the Fremont Experience. And of course, you can drag yourself along as you would normal street view. And you can click on points of interest and all that good stuff, right? So it's the, this is a street view that you've come to know and love. Well, there's a new icon down below here that will actually go into split screen view, which seems really simple. It's like, so what's the big deal? Why is this such a, a cool thing? Well, first of all, it gives you the opportunity, instead of kind of walking yourself down the path, right, to get to the next location, you can merely use this screen to jump down to the next location. Which is, which is really pretty cool. I mean, all things considered, you can really navigate around your map considerably quicker and easier using this new split screen view. And I'm usually not all, don't usually get all that excited about stuff like this, but this is actually pretty cool. So I'm gonna return back down here and I'm gonna get back on the main road. There we go. So as you can see on the main roads, you get these blue lines that are telling you which directions you can go in Street View, and they, they, work, they work really, really well. However, if you're on a location such as the Fremont Experience uh, stretch here, it is Street View, and I'm gonna click in here, but you'll notice now that we're actually sort of, not really inside of a building, but we're underneath this cover, and the controls change to a more arrowed, drag and arrow approach. So what you can't actually do your, your walking about, you have to use the arrows to tap, and that's still the same. But again, this really helps out if you can use the bottom split screen view to quickly navigate down, say, the Fremont experience to get where you want to go. And of course, once you're where you want to be, you can just get rid of that view at the bottom, the split screen view, and resume um, your view here. Right, And then when I go back into split screen, I can then uh, continue to go about my split screen street view business. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed looking at this new feature on Google Maps. This is uh, currently only on Android. I'm sure it'll come to iOS soon enough. But it's nice, as I said, once again, to have something that's sort of unique to the Android operating system. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please like the video, subscribe, of course, hit the little bell so that you'll get notified of this and other great videos coming your way next. I'm Shane Armand Rowe. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.